Hi, I'm Dr. Dana Fillmore, clinical psychologist and co-founder of StrongMarriageNow.com. As you may have heard, Congressman Andrew Weiner recently admitted to sexually charged online relationships with several women and lying about his misdeeds. One must wonder if he thought of these actions as cheating. I'm here to tell you that it is. In fact, the internet and other forms of social media are the fastest growing threat to marriages today. Intimate relationships online have now replaced the workplace as the leading venue to begin an affair. Interestingly, most people surveyed stated that they did consider intense online relationships to be infidelity. However, as many as 50% of people engaged in an online relationship reported that they did not believe they were being unfaithful. New research indicates that as many as 30% of divorce litigations can be linked to relationships that began online, in part because one-third of cyber affairs actually escalate to personal contact, but also because becoming attached to someone online by definition creates distance between the married couple. Emotionally investing in any other relationship leaves less to invest in the marriage. And finally, the most potent reason the online affair is so alluring, most of it happens in one's head. The very nature of online communication enables one to hear what they want to hear and see what they want to see. This allows them to build a fantasy of who the person is and how deeply they feel about them. The secrecy and excitement surrounding the relationship can be so intense that it actually becomes an addiction. But let's be honest, sometimes it's not only a fantasy. People say things to someone or show things to someone online that they would never do face to face. Look, I'm not saying we should not have Facebook pages, Twitter accounts, and friends who we connect with online. But as a general rule, we should never have close friendships with people of the opposite sex who our partner doesn't know. And we should never allow ourselves to get so involved with another person, be it male or female, that we stop putting our marriage first. We will never know what was going on in Congressman Weiner's life and marriage that led to these actions. But we can all learn a lesson from this situation. It's a new day and age. All of our actions online are lasting and traceable. Now more than ever, we must stop and think about the consequences of our decisions. Our hearts go out to all of the congressman's loved ones and constituents who are impacted by his actions. If you would like to learn all of the skills you need to safeguard your marriage from potential infidelity, visit us at strongmarriagenow.com.